students welcome to the stld class so lecture 8 in this lecture 8 we are discussing complements and signed numbers so coming to the importance of this concept complement and signed numbers up to now we have seen how to represent 0 how to represent 10 how to represent 20 how to represent 40 how to represent 100 like that so some uh, decimal number we have taken and how to represent that number by using binary we have seen in the uh, lkg and ukg classes so just we are knowing the numbers from 0 to 100 and 500 and 1000 we have we are writing after completion of learning numbers what we are doing in generally we are learning addition operation we are learning subtraction operation multiplication operation division operation okay so in the childhood we are doing in that way first in the first class second class we are doing summing operation subtraction multiplications and divisions so in the same way here also up to now we have seen what is the different what are, what is meant by the number system and what are the different types of number systems are available now here we are taking the main number system is binary number system for that binary number system what are the basic operations for example two equivalent value 0010 3 three equivalent value 0011 if you want to add these two numbers how to add these two numbers for generally for decimal you can add simply but in the binary how to add those two numbers and how to add or subtract those two numbers and how to complement those two numbers the some of the basic operations are there that basic operations we will see so in this class we are not concentrating on the addition and subtraction for doing the subtraction or division process we have to know the complemented values what is we need some complement operations why because machine doesn't know subtraction operation okay so for that reason here how to for for uh, doing the subtraction process we need to learn uh, what is meant by complement if complement you know then you can do easily subtraction so in this class we are concentrating on the complement operation this is the first one and <coughs> how to represent positive and negative numbers how to represent the positive and negative numbers okay so they are these are they are called signed numbers up to now we are we have not used any sign plus sign or minus sign we are not used up to now so now we are using signs plus sign and sign that means now we are concentrating on the signed numbers so when you are saying that a signed numbers then what is meant by unsigned numbers these concepts we will see in this class so coming to the first why binary numbers are important what is the importance of binary numbers is very simple see here circuits are here circuits are implemented using electronic components like transistors and etc we have big circuitries all the circuits are made in, we are making with a, uh, the major component is called transistor in our integrated circuit in our mobiles or maybe smart tv or smart home whatever it may be in this machinery uh, we are using lot of transistors millions of transistors are working on on our mobile or on our electronic gadgets so this transistors acting as a switch the transistor has different types of operations like amplifying or we have different operations that you can learn in electronic division circuits last theory subject edc subject in this we are we are considering transistor as a switch it is either conducting on state or non conducting that is off state it is in the conducting and non conducting states in modern day chips consists of billions of transistors with magnitude size so we have millions of transistors but we don't know that millions of transistors are there in my mobile why because they are very 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 less in size that is a nanometer size binary number system has two digits zeros and ones we know that binary system has two digits zeros and ones then how to represent this binary informations so bit bit means either zero or one <coughs> either zero or one okay these are called bits if if you are saying that zero that is a bit if you are saying that one that is a bit so this is a single binary bit either 0 or 1 <coughs> next nibble collection of four bits a nibble is called collection of four bits 
and by collection of eight bits. For example, the Nibble representation. So, four bits. You can represent one, zero, one, one. Here I have written four bits. This four bits command we can call nibble. Okay. Next byte. Byte is a group of eight bits. So this is an example of uh, byte. So byte is a group of eight bits. Next word. Word is a group of sixteen bits. Right? Word is a collection of 16 bits. Double word is also there. For the double word, a collection of 32 bits. Double word is collection of 16, uh, 32 bits. For a single word, so collection of 16 bits. Next, 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte. 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte. 1024 kilobytes is equal to 1 megabyte. 1024 megabytes is equal to 1 gigabyte. 1024 gigabytes is equal to 1 terabyte. 1024 terabytes is equal to 1 petabyte. In our uh, hard disk, in our laptop, we are using hard disk, 1 TB hard disk, 2 TB hard disk, 4 TB hard disk, we are using for our laptop. So, higher than this uh, terabyte, we have petabytes, that is 1 TB. Next, coming to the types of the, these uh, binary numbers, we have two types of binary numbers. The first one is unsigned and second one is signed numbers. Binary numbers can be signed or unsigned. We have two types of uh, signed numbers. Unsigned numbers don't have any sign. We know that. So, we don't have any plus sign, we don't have any minus sign. Unsigned numbers don't have any sign. This can contain only magnitude of the number. That is, each bit it is representing with some weight. That is 2 power 0 or 2 power 1 or 2 power 2 or 2 power 3. Whatever it may be based on the bit position, we have different types of values. We have different types of weights. So, for each bit, it has some weight. Signed numbers contain sign flag. The signed numbers, it has one sign flag. This representation distinguish positive and negative numbers. So, in the uh, <coughs> in the given binary number, if it is a signed number, one bit is representing as a positive or negative sign. Remaining bits are representing the weight of the uh, that particular values. So, see here how to represent unsigned numbers. How to represent unsigned numbers? So zero we are representing with now four zeros. So that is a default. If you are not representing any sign, that is representing as plus zero. If we, if you are not representing any plus in in before of one, that is plus one. That is triple zero one and two zero zero one zero. Next three zero zero one one. Next seven zero triple one. Next fifteen four ones. In this way, we are representing unsigned numbers. That is normal binary number system. Whatever the representation we did in the previous classes, the same thing we are doing in this way. This is the unsigned numbers. <coughs> Next, signed integer representation. Signed integer representation. How to represent the signed numbers? Many of the numerical data items that we use, signed representation. Uh, coming to the, if you want to design any machine, you need to know plus sign and minus sign values also. Why? Because without sign operation, we cannot make, we cannot build any system perfectly. So for that reason, you have to learn what is uh, the, how to represent the sign numbers, uh, either positive or negative. How to represent the sign? There are three possible approaches. We have three types of approaches for representing the sign. The first one, sign magnitude representation. The first one, sign magnitude representation and one's complement representation, two's complement representation. These are the three possible approaches to represent the signed numbers. Okay, right. Now, uh, we will see signed magnitude representation. How to represent signed magnitude representation. Take some example. <coughs> for an input number representation, for example, I have taken one zero. Uh, example I have represented 101101. One, one, one. Now I have taken this number. Okay. And I am saying that that is a signed number. 
that is a side number then how to represent that is a positive value or negative value i said this is a signed number i'm not say uh, i'm not uh, said that uh, this is unsigned number now i am saying that this is a signed number right so how to identify the value it's very simple identify the first msb bit if it is one that is a negative number that is a negative number if it is one if it is zero then that is a positive number okay in the place of msb if it is zero that is a positive number if it is one that is a negative number it is very simple operation see here the most significant bit indicates sign so the msb bit representing sign if it is zero positive and if it is one negative it is very simple the remaining bits are n minus 1 bits are. so if you have totally n bits so if you neglect this bit the remaining bits are n minus 1 bits these n minus 1 bits are representing magnitude of the number that is here the weight of this one is 2 power 0 this is 2 power 1 this is 2 power 2 this is 2 power 3 and this is 2 power n minus 2 the same in the normal way how we are writing with the weightage of that uh, bits as is you have to write so the first bit is sign the remaining bits are magnitude it is very simple operation okay there is no that much of hard to remember it is very simple the first bit is i said positive and the uh, if it is zero if it is a one then the bit is negative value next signed number representation by using four bits in the four bits how to represent the signed numbers see here i said that the first bit Okay, I said that the first bit is the sign. The first bit is the sign. So this zero sign, this zero is representing the positive value. Right? If the first digit, the first MSB bit is the sign, how many bits we have? Remaining bits in the four is three. These three are way greater. So by using three bits, how many combinations we can represent? Two power three. If you, if you have n bits, the maximum possible combinations are two power n. Here we have 3. So the maximum possible combinations are 2 power 3. That is 8. So 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. So these are the maximum values. So here this is plus 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7. So this is completely different uh, from the unsigned numbers. See here, in the first bit value, in the unsigned, it has some weight. But here it is representing sign. sign. If it is 1, and remaining values are 0 this is representing minus 0 it is very very important here it is 0 so for that reason we are represented plus 0 here it is 1 so we are representing with minus 0 with minus 0 see here the first bit is 0 so this is plus 1 the first bit is 1 the remaining bits are same see here the remaining three bits are same here so 0 0 1 that is representing 1 it is started with a minus a 1 so for that reason I am representing with the negative sign and the remaining value is 1 that is minus 1 so here these three bits uh, combined representing 2 this 0 bit representing positive sign and these uh, these three bits are representing 2 and the first bit representing the sign that is minus 2 next in this way so this is plus 3 and this is minus 3 and this is plus 4 and this is the minus 4 okay so this is the signed bit representation so one now one one zero so the first one is representing negative value and the remaining three bits are representing the weight of the value weight of the bits so that is this is a four see here for example seven also zero triple one this is the plus seven one triple one this is a minus seven okay it is very important to remember here is very simple concept <coughs> in the given problem if if he if the pro, in the problem if they mentioned like uh, so the given number is the signed number automatically you have to do signed operations uh, signed addition signed subtraction and signed division like that you have to do the signed operation otherwise you have to represent that is as the unsigned number if they represent that uh, if they are not representing anything that is the unsigned number if they represent anything automatically they say this is the signed number okay there is no problem in the exam side if they represented it is a sign number automatically the first bit is automatically signed if they not represented anything that is automatically unsigned information that is a unsigned information in this way we are representing the signed numbers for example if you want to represent uh, uh, 15 generally 
in the unsigned place the 15 in the unsigned numbers the 15 value we are representing 1 1 1 1 ok so this is equivalent value for 15 now how to represent in binary sorry how to represent in sign numbers if you want to represent 15 so the value of the 15 is 1 if it is plus 15 you have to add 1 0 at least you have to add at least 1 0 but machine it will take either 4 bits or 8 bits or 16 bits or 32 bits so for that reason you have to represent the plus 0 in this way this is the plus 15 if you want to represent minus 15 here i will write once again see plus 15 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 if you want to represent minus 15 1 triple 0 1 1 1 1 okay in this way you have to represent so this is minus 15 this is the plus 15 okay the first bit only differing the remaining bits are same here these uh, circled bits are same in the point of weight the first bit only differing the sign this is the sign either positive sign or negative sign if it is one negative sign if it is zero that is a positive sign so this is the way of representing the signed numbers right in the next video we will see